In the picturesque Annapolis Valley of Nova Scotia, Scotian Gold Cooperative has roots that date back to 1912. The company is the largest apple packing and storage operation in Atlantic Canada, exporting across Canada, the United States, and even to Europe. The long-term success of this company is due in no small part to its ability to incorporate advanced manufacturing processes into its operations. We've gone from being nearly all manual to, uh, to a lot of automation where apples are automatically sorted by computerized sorting, put in bags automatically and palletized, so it's a lot of automation. The first few times that we've done it, it was probably more difficult than what it is now. And, and part of it is fear for change. So each time we do a different project, I think it, it's easier with our people, and, and I think also maybe we're a little better of educating our people before we do something. There was a culture shift, and I think our employees today are very comfortable working with the equipment that we have. It's really seamless, and there's no fear, and they, they've adapted it quite well. It's just part of the everyday work life now. At Scotian Gold Cooperative, 35 local farmers are part owners and another 25 bring in fruit for packing and processing. Growers are very keen and interested for new technology. They see a future in the industry and one thing about farming is they're always looking of how to reinvest into their orchard and that's all about productivity and efficiency of maximizing your volume per acre. Parrish also notes that technology will be a part of Scotian Gold's future. If I was to go back a number of years, we have basically have kept the same workforce and are producing about three times the volume. I think with technology it's always moving and you certainly have to stay with it. Adopting technology isn't as scary as it may sound and it can certainly take you in a better direction than what you, what you may be going.